Welcome back to Reading with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to read Wayside School is Falling Down by Louis Sakar, Chapter 25. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. Chapter 25, a story that isn't about socks. It was class picture day. The children were all dressed up in their best clothes. Stephen came to school wearing a three-piece suit, gray trousers, a gray vest, and a gray jacket. Underneath his vest was a white shirt and a red and gold striped tie. On his feet were hard black shiny shoes. He was very handsome. The other kids laughed when they saw him. You've worn lots of silly costumes, said Bibi, but this is the silliest one yet. Bibi was wearing yellow shorts, a red shirt with white polka dots, and a floppy green hat. Mrs. Jules rang her cowbell. Settle down, she said. The children settled in their seats. Stephen remained standing. Look at Stephen, said Mauricia. His jacket is the same color as his pants. They're supposed to be the same color, Stephen tried to explain. It's a suit, and they're not called pants. They're called trousers. Ooh, said Mauricia. Can you go swimming in your suit? No, said Stephen. I can go swimming in my suit, said Mauricia. Mauricia had on a black and white striped bikini. I'm sure Stephen's suit is good for other things, said Mrs. Jules. It is, said Stephen. Like what? asked Todd. Standing around and looking important, said Stephen. What about sitting? asked Todd. No, I'm not supposed to sit, said Stephen. The suit might get wrinkled. I'm just supposed to stand around and look important. Oh, said Todd. Todd was wearing white shorts, a Hawaiian shirt, and sunglasses. Dee Dee crawled across the floor to Stephen so she could get a better look at his shoes. They're so shiny, she said. I can see myself. She knocked on one of his shoes with her fist. They're hard, too. Dee Dee, get up, said Mrs. Jules. Dee Dee stood up. She had on a black t-shirt that came down to her knees. In the middle of the shirt was a red heart. Above the heart, in sparkling silver and gold letters, it said, Love Goddess. I bet they're good for kickball, huh, Stephen? She asked, since they're so hard. No, said Stephen, I can't run in them, and they hurt my feet. Then why do you wear them? asked Dee Dee. Because they're uncomfortable, Stephen explained. You have to wear uncomfortable shoes if you want to look important. Oh, said Dee Dee. What's that thing around your neck? asked Paul. It's a tie, said Stephen. Does it keep your neck warm? asked Paul. No, said Stephen. Does it hold your shirt on? asked Paul. No, said Stephen. Well, what's it for? asked Paul. It chokes me, said Stephen. Oh, said Paul. The more it chokes me, the better I look, Stephen explained. See, he tightened his tie. Oh, yeah, said Paul. You look real handsome. Paul was wearing cowboy and Indian pajamas. Stephen pulled his tie tighter. Now, how do I look, he asked. Wow, you look great, said DJ. Pull it tighter. Stephen pulled his tie even tighter. How's this? He gasped. You look great and very important, said DJ. DJ was wearing a toga made out of his bed sheet. Pull it tighter, said BB. Stephen pulled on his tie. He could no longer breathe. Tighter, everyone yelled. Stephen pulled it even tighter. His eyes bulged and his nose turned blue. He had never been more handsome. Tighter, they all shouted. Stephen pulled his tie so hard that he ripped it in half. Oh, the whole class groaned. Darn, said Stephen. Now I'm not great and important anymore. Yes, you are, Stephen, said Mrs. Jules. You're just as great and important as you ever were. I am, asked Stephen. Certainly, said Mrs. Jules. The tie didn't make you important. It doesn't matter what you wear on the outside. It's what's underneath that counts. Underneath, asked Stephen. 
Yes, said Mrs. Jules. If you want to be great and important, you have to wear expensive underpants. Oh, said Stephen. Mrs. Jules had on a flowered tank top and a grass skirt. The end. Thanks for joining me for chapter 25. I hope you check back for chapter 26. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. I hope you join me next time. Bye.